Made of tiny particles, a cloud of ash from an erupting volcano in Iceland heads south towards the rest of Europe. The plume drifting at high altitude, causing a dark cloud over the continent's travel plans. This ash cloud might be causing widespread disruption, but it's impossible to see what's causing the problem because the cloud itself is six kilometers above the Earth's surface. That means we can't see it here on the ground. The tiny particles that make up the cloud are made of glass and rock. The dust is finer than talcum powder, and if it gets into an aircraft's engine, it can block up the ventilation holes with a thin layer of glass. It can clog the fuel system and obscure the window screen. Eric Moody, a former pilot, flew into an ash cloud over Indonesia in the 1980s. We glided the aeroplane down to 12,000 feet, and we got the first one started up at 13,000 feet. Um, we got all four going again uh, and eventually had to shut one more down so I had five engine failures in 20 minutes. Experts say the volcano could keep erupting which would mean more problems for the aviation industry. The cloud of ash and gas from the activity that's occurred so far is going to spread out and disperse within a few days. The, the problem of course is that this eruption may continue and in a week's time or a month's time um, it may produce another of these phases of explosive activity, inject another cloud of ash and gas into the high atmosphere and at some stage in the near future we'll see another period of two or three days when the air traffic is disrupted. Meteorologists are monitoring the situation closely, the weather impacting on where the cloud travels to next and how long it lasts. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, London.